I'm not holding back anything in this video. I'm gonna show you my NAS 100 strategy step by step so you guys can get to $10,000 a month this year. Just make sure that you put away any distractions because I'm gonna break down this exact strategy in depth very clearly and this will be very easy for you guys to understand. If you guys do wanna be mentored by me, definitely click the link in my description. Let's book a phone call and let's just see where you're at as a trader. Secondly, if you guys do want to trade live with me, I do host live trading sessions. There should be a link in the description where you guys can sign up. And one more thing, if you guys could show some type of love, like this video, drop a comment below, even if it is an emoji, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also check out my channel, I have a ton of other videos based around trading that will help you guys out. Now without further ado, let's get into this video. Now let's dive into the basic information. You guys probably all know this by now, but I trade at the market open during the New York session. This is hands down the best time to trade. This is where we're going to see the most liquidity and volume injected into the market. And this is where you guys are going to be able to catch these really nice moves. Now the thing that a lot of you might not know is when I'm trading, I'm on the minute 15 time frame. This is when I'm executing my buy or my sell. I'm not on the one minute, I'm not on the five minute. Occasionally I go to the five minute, five minute, but a lot of the time my um, actual trades are being taken on the minute 15 time frame. And the thing with me, this is like a really basic thing, but a lot of you probably do not know this, is when we're taking a trade, the market open in California for me, PST, is at 6.30 a.m. Now what I do most all the time is I trade, I enter a trade once the candle closes. So I'm entering a trade by market execution. So if we look right here, this candle opens at 6.15, closes at 6.30. This is our reference candle on where we're going to take a long position or a short position. We obviously need it to show up in a certain way, and I'm gonna show you guys in a second my perfect setup, but what I'm looking at is this specific candle right here. And notice, how we have this timer right here. When this timer has three to five seconds left, that's when I'm gonna execute my trade. Because we wanna get involved in the market right before the market opens so we actually don't miss a move because within seconds after the market open bell, we see a lot of movement already happening. So that is the first step, is understanding the time and time frame that we're gonna be trading. Next part is a major hack. A lot of you probably don't know about this, so let's write it out. I want you guys to download the app CNBC. And this is more so the fundamental side of trading, but this works like a freaking charm. So I want you guys to download the app. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a watch list. So the first company that you wanna have is Microsoft. So type in MSFT and add that. The next one that you're gonna add is United Health Group. United Health Group, yep. Next one is Goldman Sachs. Then the next one is Apple, and then the next one is Amazon, and then the next one is Meta, okay? You wanna add these ones right here. And what we're doing, let me tell you guys something though. The data does not come out until the market open right at 6.30 where you're gonna get the confirmation. So if you really wanna get extra confirmation and understand what is happening, I'm gonna explain all this to you guys in just a second. But basically, CNBC is a news outlook company, and they're telling us the news, or they're telling us the um, price and the change on these companies. So if we see, like, one thing that you guys have to know is my mind is going crazy. I'm so excited. But one thing that you guys need to understand is NAS 100 is the NASDAQ. It says 100 in it because it consists of the top 100 tech companies, okay? So... With NAS 100, we need to look at the big dogs in the NASDAQ, and that's going to give us a lot of confirmation, whether it's going to be a good buy or a sell, or extra confirmation, I should say. So once you add that to your list, you'll see a little red line or green line, and you'll see the percentage change. Look, if you see all these companies with the red line in negative percentage, that means that it's most likely going to sell off. But if you see that they're all green and the percentage change is all green, we're most likely going to see a really good buy. Now, I'm not telling you this is 100% accurate. No, 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 no. But what you guys can do is kind of use this as extra confirmation 
Because a lot of the time, guys, I formulate my bias, not even a lot of the time, all the time. I formulate my bias before the market open. And I know before the market open, all right, I'm going to go for a buy or I'm going to go for a sell. So then I can have this added confirmation here and I can look at it and I can see, all right, well, all the companies are green. That means we're going to go for a buy. All the companies are red. We're going to go for a sell. So this app right here, the CNBC app is going to really help you guys out. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Now I want to show you guys what my ideal perfect setup looks like. And we're not going to go over like the Asia session and all that. Obviously, what I'm looking for is like the market to be in one specific trend. And we can see overall like we're pretty much in an uptrend right here. Like price didn't break the support. But last Friday, it was NFP. I didn't trade. But it didn't happen at the market open. The next candle, the 630 to 645 candle, the minute 15, closed is a spinning top. But notice right here, this yellow line, this is our 20 EMA right here. I have my 20 EMA as its yellow line. So if I see a candle with the long wick that goes into the EMA like this, and then the body of the candle closes above like it did on this candle right here, that's giving me a lot of confirmation that we're rejecting whatever level that is. And we're going to see a really nice push up. I would suggest that you guys pause this video, add the 20 EMA to your chart, and then go look at it on the minute 15 time frame and see if you see any candles at the market open or between 6.30 and 7 a.m. And tell me if you guys are looking, go and see if you guys see any setups for me like this. But if I see a candle like this, rejecting the 20 EMA, that is giving me a ton of confirmation. It's going to be a really nice setup. Now, let me see if I could find like one more. This works too, even though the candle didn't wick it. I like to see it wick it most of the time, but that's still cool. But I want to find a setup like right at the market open for you guys to really understand what I'm saying. Because once we see this setup, it's really clear. Okay, right here, we can see this candle spinning top again, wick the 20 EMA. The body closed above right there. And now we can see the price after that did do one more retest. But then look at this candle right here, this beefy candle. That's almost a thousand pips on that one candle right there. So that's what you guys need to be looking for with this strategy. It works amazing. Now for the last and final part, you guys need to look into funding. Trading with a couple hundred dollars is not going to cut it if you guys want to get to 10K a month. This is what I've been doing with a lot of my students lately is I've been getting them funded with FTMO or my Forex funds. I would definitely recommend those two because they're just the OG prop firms. They pay out. I've had no issues with them whatsoever. So the cool thing about FTMO though is they have the free trial. This is what I would do if I were you guys. I'd go and do the free trial. Once you pass it a couple times, I'd go and get a 100K or 200K account. This is the thing with the 100K. You have to make 10 bands. Cool. What you guys should be doing is aiming for a thousand pips. So let me write this out. Can't even type right now. Okay, so FTMO account. Let's say that we go for a hundred thousand dollar account. Okay, what we're gonna do is use a twenty lot, and we're gonna aim for a thousand pips. If we do that, all we need is five solid trades, and then we'll pass phase one. Now, a lot of traders are like I need to take 10, 20, 30 trades. All these trades, you guys don't need to do that. All you need is five solid trades to actually get past phase one. And then for phase two, all you need is like two, basically three trades to pass phase two. But it's very simple. So if you guys are focusing on these really high quality trades and you're not rushing the process, you're really taking your time because at the end of the day, you guys need to understand with FTMO, you have 30 days, but you can also get an extension if your account's up in 5% profit. So if you're really smart about it, within the first, I'd say, two to three weeks, you can definitely get over 5% pretty damn easily. And then you have another two to three weeks to actually pass with that 14-day extension. Cool thing is they actually changed the minimum trading days from five to, I think it was 10 before on FTMO. Now it's four days. So definitely take advantage of this. This is how you guys are going to be able to get to the next level with your trading. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you got some type of value. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.